neglected. She, she ministered to the leper. She didn't minister to the rich people. Don't they need to get saved? Well, you know, she, she, she ministered to the poor. Fine. What about the middle class? There's a lot more of them than there are poor. Well, not in India, but <laughs> India, there's a, there is no middle class in India. There wasn't at the time. But, you know, most places there is. You understand what I'm saying? God told her to do that. Now, does she hear a voice? I don't know about that. I just know that's what she claimed. That God directed her in, in that direction. And, and obviously it was God. Look at the results she had. Towards the end of her life, there's rich people sending money to her and jets. You know, we need you to come over here and speak to people. So they'd send their private jet over and get her. And she didn't have any money. <laughs> Amen. So uh, 12.3 says, For consider him who endured such a hostility from sinners against himself, lest he become weary and discouraged in his soul. So sometimes you read in the Old Testament, it looks like God's discouraged. God never gets discouraged. He never gets wore down, weak, frustrated. You might get that idea by reading some of the stuff in the Old Testament, but he's not. He's just declaring what's happening. So what are we doing here? We are here to bring life to the unlearned. God saves sinners to save sinners. Let me say that again. God saves sinners to save sinners. Not that we remain sinners, but we start off that way. So there is no lack of grace To us in saving sinners. No lack of grace. The constant cry of heaven is return to me. So do not seek judgment. Do not pray for people to fail or fall down, you know, get back up later, you know, God will raise them up. Nope. That's cursing. Seek his grace. Lord, somehow, some way, show him your goodness. Somehow, some way, show them you love them. If there's a way you want me to do it, fine, I'll do it. Don't expect people to respond in kind all the time, though. What do we just read? That Jesus endured contradiction of sinners. What does that mean? They fought him. They didn't like it. Return to me. You know, even the church in Revelation that Jesus warned he told them to return. He said, return to that love from which you have fallen. Return. He didn't say, he didn't pronounce judgment. He said, return. He told them what would happen if they didn't. Because God will, God will always warn us. You know, the devil, he don't warn you. He says, you know, drink this, you'll have a good time. He doesn't tell you what the end of the night's going to be like when you're sitting in the back of a cop car with you know, your hands like this and you ain't having any fun at all. You know, he, he, tells, he tells the addict, you know, stick this needle in your arm, it'll feel good, and it does. For a little bit. And then the next thing you know, they can't stop from putting the needles in their arm. But God warns us, don't, don't do that, it'll kill you. You remember the original lie in the Bible? You will not die.
go ahead and eat. It's good. You know, it tastes good. And he was right. It did. As far as that goes. No, no, we can't do that because God said we'll die. You will not die. God always warns us. Warning is not judgment. Warning is not judgment. Warning, heeded, keeps people out of trouble. There's been times that I've closed out services and, and I'll be standing in front of somebody and I'll say to them, you know, quietly so nobody else can hear, I'll say something, I'll, I'll warn them. Don't do such and such because trouble's coming. Something to that effect. I've noticed this too. They hardly ever listen. Occasionally they do, but every, most of them, they, they take their lumps. I should have listened to you. I will never say I told you so. There's no point. What do I do? Hug them. Come on back. Let's dust you off, clean you up, put the robe back on you and ring back on your finger and let's peel the fatted calf and let's go on with God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I hear the Spirit saying, 